hi and welcome back to my channel welcome to today's tutorial in this video we are going to crochet this cute mushroom bag uh, with this ash shape design and this hole at the corner where you can be crocheting and you put your yarn in and now you're pulling your yarn from this little hole here this came as a request from my previous mushroom bag tutorial that I made asking for um, an update with this ash shape uh, deco here and this little hole at the corner. So in today's video, we are going to make this pattern of this mushroom bag. So let's get into the tutorial. So here are the yarn I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using these two colors and they are 100% acrylic yarn. And I'll be using a size 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So you're going to start with a magic ring. And you chain one you already have one chain you work another chain so you have a chain of two this chain two doesn't count as a stitch so you're going to work 12 double crochet in your magic ring one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet five double crochet six double crochet so go ahead and work six more double crochet when you work it a total of 12 double crochet to end your round one you're going to pull your tail and tighten your ring And you work a slip stitch on top of your chain two. To begin your round two, you chain two. And you work two double crochet in your chain two space. And two double crochet in each stitch. You follow this pattern and work two double crochet in each stitch round. When you get to the end, you work a slip stitch on top of your chain two. To begin your round three, you chain two. You work two double crochet in your chain two space. And now for your round three, you're working one double crochet and one increase. An increase is two double crochet in one stitch. One double crochet. And one increase. And you're going to follow this pattern to the end. You work a slip stitch on your chain two to end your round three. And to begin your round four, you chain two and you work two double crochet in your chain two space. And for your round four, you are working two double crochet, one increase. So you have one double crochet, two double crochet, and one increase. one double crochet two double crochet and you work one increase you 
follow this pattern to the end you slip stitch and end your round four and chain two to begin your round five walk two double crochet in your chain two space And for your round five, you are working three double crochet, one increase, one, two, three, one increase. One, two, three, and one increase. You work a slip stitch at the end of your round five. Chain two to begin your round six. You work two double crochet in your chain two space. And for your round six, you're working four double crochet and one increase. This is one, two, three, four, and one increase. One, two, three, four, and one increase. At the end of your round six, this is how your base is going to look like. So we are going to measure this base so it's 14 centimeters if you want it bigger you're going to continue you follow the same pattern and you increase the rounds and if you want it smaller you're going to reduce the rounds now to end your round six you're going to pull your working yarn up and you're going to send your hook from the back side and you you're going to take your working yarn you're going to pull your working yarn and next you're going to chain three one two three and now you continue working one double crochet in each stitch and for this round you're working on the back loop of your stitch so you work one double crochet one double crochet in each stitch and you're using only the back loop you're going to follow this pattern around when you get to the end you work a slip stitch on top of uh you work a slip stitch on your chain three one two three on your chain three you work a slip stitch and to begin your next round you're going to chain three and you continue working one double crochet in each stitch One 
double crochet in each stitch and now you're using both loops you're working through the both loops so you're going to keep repeating this pattern you work a total of three rounds I will meet you at the fourth round when you are at your fourth round so this is one two three this is the fourth round you're going to work 30 stitches when you work 30 stitches you're going to chain three one two three and you're going to skip one two three stitch in the fourth stitch you're going to continue working double crochet stitches Continue working one double crochet in each stitch. And when you get to the end, you work a slip stitch, I will meet you here. So when you work your slip stitch and you continue working double crochet stitches to where you have this your little hole pad or this your chain three, you're going to work one double crochet on each of this your chain stitch you work one double crochet in the next stitch you work one double crochet and one double crochet in your next stitch and now one double crochet so you have your little hole pad there so you are going to continue working one double crochet in each stitch and you keep repeating the pattern working one double crochet in each in each stitch and you work a total of 17 round i will meet you at the 17 at the 17 round so when you work a total of 17 round this is how your work is going to look like now you're going to measure to see the height it's 17 centimeters So you're going to end on top of your chain uh you end on your chain three rather and your chain three you're going to work a slip stitch and you chain one this round you're going to be working single crochet stitches you work one single crochet in each stitch and single crochet and single crochet you work single crochet stitches round when you get to the end and you're left with one stitch you're going to leave a tail and cut your yarn then you're going to pull your working yarn up and then you use your yarn needle to end. So you're going to come to your first stitch. And then you go ahead and yarn in your tail.
when you're done the next part you're going to work is the cap part and for the cap part you're going to follow the same pattern you work the base to work the scalp part but the difference is that you're going to work a total of eight rounds for the cap part and the base is six rounds but the cap part you're going to work a total of eight rounds so you have one two three four five six seven eight rounds when you work a total of eight rounds you're going to work a slip stitch on top of your chain three and chain three and now you'll be working rounds of double crochet you're going to work two rounds of double crochet for these two rounds you're working one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet one double crochet in each stitch So you continue and work two and you work two rounds i'll meet you when you work two rounds of double crochets and when you work a total of two rounds of double crochet these are your cap your cap, cap part, part sorry your cap part is going to look like and to end your work you work your slip stitch on on your chain three And you're going to chain one and now you're going to work rounds of single crochet you work one single crochet in each stitch round so this is how your cup part is going to look like so now that we are done with this cap part the next thing we are going to work is the ash design so you're going to work a slip knot and you're going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now you're going to yarn over and you're going to you're going to skip three chains one two three in the fourth chain you're going to work one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet and one double crochet one double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet now when you're left when you're left with one chain in this your last chain you're going to work five double crochet you work one double crochet when you work your when you work the first one you're going to put a stitch marker so that's one double crochet two three four five you work the feet and you put a stitch marker there and next you're going to continue working one double crochet on the side one double crochet in the next stitch you work one double crochet and 
and one double crochet Double crochet one double crochet one double crochet and you walk one double crochet in this last stitch here you walk one double crochet there And you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work and you continue working one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet one double crochet so you work one double crochet in each stitch till you get to where you have your stitch marker when you get to where you have your stitch marker, you're going to remove your stitch marker and you're going to be working two double crochet in each stitch. So you work two double crochet in each stitch to where you have the next stitch marker. So double crochet. Two double crochet two double crochet two double crochet and this is when you wish where you have your second stitch marker you're going to remove that and you're going to work two double crochet and now you continue working one double crochet in each stitch when you get to the end you're going to work one double crochet on this your last stitch here your one double crochet there to end you're going to chain one and you're going to leave it till so you use the tail to attach it to your back then you cut your yarn The next thing you're going to work is the round part that will cover your whole space. So you work, do a magic ring. And you're going to chain two. You already have one chain, you work another chain. You work two up, double crochet as one two three three four so you go ahead and work twelve double crochet in your magic ring when you have twelve double crochet you're going to pull and tighten your ring and you're going to end your work with a slip stitch so what you're going to do is you're going to take your next color so you take your second color and you're going to use your second color to work your slip stitch and you cut the first your first color So 
you're going to chain one and in the same stitch you're going to work single crochet stitch you work one single crochet and two single crochet in that same stitch in the next stitch you're going to work one single crochet and then two single crochet one single crochet in your next stitch you work two single crochet You work two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in your next stitch you work two single crochet and one single crochet next stitch two single crochet and for next stitch you're going to work one single crochet and work a slip stitch on your first stitch and you're going to chain one and you're going to leave it till and you cut your yarn I'm going to go ahead and so you go ahead yarn this in and cut the tail so the next thing you're going to do is to attach this your round part to this your opening here so this is it. this is where you left the tail so you're going to centralize it and put it like this so you're going to sew like half half of it So that's so how you're going to attach it to your back. So you keep attaching until you get to the other side and you attach like half so you can open. And you're done. This is uh, your work is going to look like this is your opening this is your hole and next you're going to follow the same method and attach your ash part so if you want it closer to this to your round part or to your whole part you put it so you're the one to decide if you want it further whenever you want it it that that will be okay so you just go ahead and attach it if you have hot glue you can also use hot glue but if you don't have hot glue then you're going to go ahead and use your yarn to attach it to your back once you've added your ash part the next thing you're going to do is to put the cut your cut round is a cut I already made I'm going to leave a link to a short tutorial on how to make this this strap or you can also make chains to go round so I'm using this big yarn needle that I have so you're going to pick your front or your middle part where you want it to fall so here is where I want it to fall so you're going to go through two double crochet and you're sending two behind, doing two in front and pull. And you're going to repeat that. So this is two. Send two behind and two in front. 
to be and then you take two in front and you're going to do that round till you get to this your starting point so you're almost getting to the end so two take two and two behind now we are left with one so you're just going to go through that one the next thing you're going to add now is the your back strap i'm also going to leave a link in the description box on how to make this hat uh, this back strap this eye cord i'll leave a link to a short tutorial on how to make this at this eye cord so what you're going to do is you're going to trace the corners and you're going to attach one side when you've attached one side i'm going to meet you after you've attached one side attach it to one side once you've attached one side you have the other side i'm going to put it through this big yarn needle that i have now you're going to pass it through your cap part so you're going to count you have one two three you pass it through And then you're going to pass it through the next three. This is on the other side, you're going to pass it through. So you're going to use this other end and attach your your back strap to your back to this other side. Once you're done, the next thing you're going to add is this your dot. So you make a magic ring and you work seven double crochet in your magic ring and then you're going to attach the dot. And this is how your, your mushroom bag with this your ash shape design is going to look like. So this is how your work is going to look like so and this is it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye